Hi, this is Phil. Welcome back. Today I'm going to answer some more questions about Muralis that have come from the comments. This one's a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, there's a chap with a few different problems. I'm going to try and deal with some of these things generically because they will probably apply to to other people in different situations. So let's take a look at the question then, first of all. I have 6900 AMD, so I can't even record 1080p SDR or playing with HDR. Can't find a solution. Okay, so what so what this comes down to is he the, the chap wants to play games in HDR, so presumably got an HDR monitor, HDR compatible graphics card, HDR compatible game, that bit's all sorted, but he wants to record it and he wants to record it in SDR. Right, so there's a couple of ways to, to go about this. You can record it in OBS with HDR converted to SDR using a LUT. Or you can record it in HDR with Marillis and then convert it to SDR with a video editor such as DaVinci Resolve. The OBS way is going to be the cheapest because you don't have to buy anything. To explain what a LUT is doing. So LUT stands for lookup table. LUTs can be used to, to add an effect to a video, so stylistically. However, some LUTs are designed to understand the SDR color space and convert it into HDR or vice versa. So as I mentioned in a previous video, there's 256 colors per channel on the red, the green, and the blue SDR. For 10 bit, that goes up to 1024. So what that means is the scale is completely different. So think about doing metric. My parents do stuff in Imperial, gallons, you know, stones, pounds, shillings, and ounces. What happens when you record SDR in a HDR or HDR and SDR? You yeah, know, I recorded this in the HDR 10 color space. However, it was a regular game. This game is Chorus, by the way. If you like space shooters, it's a great space shooter. As you can see, it looks remarkably yellow. In S so the game was playing in SDR, and so the colors have been mapped incorrectly. So when VLC plays this back, it plays it back with the wrong color space. For this video, I've imported this into, into Resolve, but the colors now look correct. So Resolve understands underneath what the colors are supposed to be. I don't really understand how Resolve knows that. Previously, I've imported it and had to apply a LUT to it. Resolve has either, has either been updated or I've got some setting differently. But one way or another, you can take that file where the color space was incorrect and you can fix it with the video editor. So you want to do the opposite. It's playing in HDR, but you want to record it in SDR. What the best way to do with that is you go into OBS and uh, you can find the filters and in here you can apply LUT. There you go. So you can apply a LUT and then you have to find a LUT that will do what, what you want, want to do. So Resolve has them and they're stored as files on your computer. So you have to find out where Resolve is storing it and then use one of the ones that's provided by Resolve or you can find one from somewhere else. That should allow you to map the colors down from HDR into SDR. So that's the, so that's the first part of the query dealt with. The problem is I can't record with the same PC. So I've got an Elgato 4K, but when I clone the signal, Windows automatically shuts down HDR. I wish I could play 4, 4K 120 hertz while recording 1080p on the stream. He's talked about not using the same PC and talk about streaming PC here. And he's saying how it automatically shuts down. Now, so how I've interpreted that is, so the computer can push a HDR signal out to his HDR monitor. However, because he's plugging it into a capture card, Windows is detecting that capture card as not being an HDR compatible device and therefore is shutting down the HDR output. So he's then not able to capture it. My understanding is that even if you push the HDR signal out to it, the card doesn't understand that you, you, know, you want red, but it's giving you yellow. It just thinks, it just sees yellow and records it as yellow in SDR. So I make I make a suggestion there about using LUTs. Not entirely sure that what I'm proposing there would work, so I won't go. So I'm not going into that. I was just trying to give him something he could try. He then goes on to say, "I've never used Action, but in your video, I can see the NVIDIA hardware acceleration. Does it support AMD GPUs?" Now, unfortunately, my answer to that is I don't know. Now, now my last AMD GPU was an. RX 580 and in OBS it does support H.265. In OBS you, you could record in H.265 using that HEVC so I assume Action would have that option like this has got it I would assume it would be there whether it also has a HDR10 
10 version i don't know he's got an rx 6900 so if any amd cards gonna have it i would have thought that would have done because that's their newest top end consumer card so i expect so but i don't know point, I'm, at this point i think what he's saying now that he was to do it on the gpu he would be using it on the encoder chip now i'm assuming his rx 6900 is in his gaming rig and i might have got a bit crosswise with him here what he's now talking about is using the encoder chip on that computer so not using a dual setup at this point so if that's what he's doing if there is a hdr mode on the amd graphics it's going to record in hdr if you use action to go back to his original thing he was looking for a way to record sdr if he does manage to record hdr and he really wants sdr he can use a video editor to convert it that's one way of getting to to where he wants or it might it might be that if he can get hdr he's just happy with that oh yes if you haven't got a video editor and all you want to do is put it on youtube in sdr you don't really have to worry if you record it in hdr and you upload it to youtube youtube will convert it for you your viewers can play it back in either sdr or hdr whatever they prefer and i've got another video about that link below on the other hand he could use the regular h264 profile in obs the amd one isn't as good as the nvidia one if you bump up the bit rate a bit you can get some reasonable results or even even the h265 option which is fairly decent uh using the LUT method I, I mentioned earlier one more thing so he's talked about recording 1080p sdr but later he talks about a streaming pc so if that he wants to play in hdr and stream it he's only going to really be able to do that with the obs method as far as i know action doesn't have a way of playing hdr and then streaming in sdr a couple of other side points performance is important to him he's already trying to do 4k 120 so that's a tall enough order as it is and i've done another previous video showing how Marillis can affect your fps and in some cases it can affect it quite badly he's gone on to say so you'll need to buy action to in order to test this and i did reply to him and say yes you do but actually i forgot you can have a 30-day free trial of it it's currently on offer and it's less than 20 us dollars and we'll just pop that into proper money and it's less than 14 quid so um and and by the way that's 14 pound for a for a lifetime license so that's pretty good i mean it's a lot more expensive than obs but it's a lot cheaper than some of the other paid for ones it does say flash sale there so i don't know how long that'll go and by the time i've finished editing this video it's probably not going to be on sale but even the full price just under 21 pounds i think it's a bargain even if you only use it a bit you know i'm not sponsored by them or anything i i use this a little bit it's got its shortcomings it's not a substitute to obs i use i currently use both at this price it's a no-brainer includes lifetime entries and it does get regular updates i like to thank my viewer for posting this question it's a great question i hope the answers help you and and anyone else who might come across it in the meantime please like and subscribe drop any comments below i will see you in the next one